tell us a little bit about Faithful and uh, the origins of this novel? Faithful is about three female friends. One, her husband is having an affair. The other wishes she had a husband. She's turning 40. She's going to be the maid of honor at her younger sister's wedding, and she's wondering why hasn't God sent me a husband. And third woman is a believer, but her husband is not. She is tempted to stray because of connecting with a man who is a strong believer. One thread where the woman is tempted to stray is when she goes back to her college reunion and with her sorority sisters and at homecoming. And so I kind of thought about that when I went to back to homecoming, but other than that, I can't say it's autobiographical. Uh, do you see your novels as sort of an alternative, the, the, the secular urban lit out there? I I think um, not, not a conscious alternative, but it certainly is an alternative for those who uh, more so want to feed their soul. So when you're at home in your office writing, who do you have in your mind that you're thinking about? I have all kinds of people in mind. I know that a lot of people who are already um, believers will pick the book up. But then there's a whole mission field right in the church of people who have either grown up in church or who... Um, just kind of go every Sunday and it's a ritual kind of thing. Those are probably the people I think of most. I want people to know the power that they can truly find in their lives when they open up that Bible, when they really start working with God and how He can just give them so much victory. Can you tell me a little bit about um, your the book, More Christian Than African American? It's sort of a memoir, mm -hmm. uh, a nonfiction work. I just found my primary identity and who I was as a black person. It wasn't until I was 27 that God just kind of shook up my world. You know, it wasn't our own design, it was the enemy's design, you know, if you look at it ultimately, that we came here, they were, we were subjugated based on the color of our skin, but it was never God's plan. And so that's how we bonded, that's how we survived, and, and that's what has been perpetuated. But God still says, you know, that was not my plan for you. I didn't plan for all these different groups to be divided based on skin color. I made you all for my glory. And you're not one because of a color, you're one in me.